This stuff, financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment, educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, GME is running sideways. And I believe it's running sideways because the bad actors don't know what they want to do. They are trapped in the play. They don't see any escape. And they know that any positive announcement by Ryan Cohen is going to give them nightmares. Okay? Any positive news from Ryan Cohen, any announcement about how they're going to spend some of that $5.5 billion in assets is going to send GME to the moon, in my opinion. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. You have to do your own DD and come to your own conclusions. But, but I believe, and this is just my opinion, that after the election, there's going to be some announcement in GME stock. I believe Ryan Cohen has been waiting for the results of their election before he makes his power moves. Could I be incorrect? Of course I could. But everything I'm seeing in the market tells me that the bad actors know they're trapped. They know there's no way out. And they're hoping for some kind of black swan or white swan event to save them. And I don't see it happening. I believe after Tuesday, anything is possible with GME. Anyway, here are the numbers. The volume, 4,604,627. It's really low. But it's because the bad actors, they're marking time. They're trying to figure out an escape plan, but I don't see one. Are they more ingenuitive than me? Of course they are. But I don't see one. They're still claiming 26.78% of the volume, of, of the float rather, is DRS. You know, that's absolute nonsense. Um, calls in the money, 22434 at $30, 76454 which in my opinion is very, very bullish. And I think the real numbers are a lot more bullish, but they just released the data they want, they want to release because we don't have any regulatory agencies that hold these bad actors accountable. They can do what they want, whatever they want, with no real consequences. But I see... A lot of civil cases on the horizon, and I believe these civil cases are going to open the door to material that's going to end up turning these civil cases into criminal cases where the DOJ and the FBI is going to feel compelled to step in. Okay, 39.6% of the volume is shorted shares, so somehow they found 1,800,000 GME shares to short into the market to manipulate the price. If we ask them to show us the chain of custody or where those shares originated, they would never voluntarily give us that. We're going to have to get a judge to order them to turn over those blue sheets and the trading history. Um, they claim they can cover all their GME short positions in 4.34 trading days. Let me tell you guys something. If they could have got out of this play in less than five trading days, they would have said, say la vie. They would have left the play. They've been watching it in their rear view mirror. They can't get out. They're stuck. And I'm, and that's something that I'm a hundred percent sure about that. They are stuck in the play and they can't get out. If they could get out, they would, and they would move on to other plays, but they can't get out. They're greed, and that's what it is. It's pure greed, and the fact that they knew that the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI would do nothing as long as they limited a majority of their victims to be retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that these GME naked shorters can really... Get out of this play in 4.34 trading days. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.